Hey guys, this is Alexander Williamson with The Secret History Living Inside Your Aquarium. I just wanted to give you guys an update on these really cool short nose uh, algae eating shrimp. Uh, they are really fun. Uh, they're very active. They swim all over. Right now they're living with Neocaridinas. And the Neocaridinas uh, seem to give them a little bit of grief in that they're climbing all over them. I don't know, it almost seemed like the males were trying to mate with them or something. Like they weren't sure what was going on with these shrimp that are kind of cruising around and are bigger than them. I think they just automatically assumed they were females. Uh, and the thing that I've gotten to notice with these shrimp now that I've had them a bit uh, is that they are very, they have like little personalities you know some are outgoing some are shy and they have different markings so it's really easy to keep track of different individual shrimp like this guy up here hiding behind the suction cup he's got red and black and like all sorts of colors on the edge of him and then if I scroll over you know there's other ones that have like almost no color uh up here we have one that has a lot of burgundy and red in it uh, that's just a really beautiful one and yes they eat a lot of algae also they have these super long feelers antennae that are really interesting and you can tell that they can actually see behind themselves with the way their eyes are set up so they must be uh, on the menu for a lot of critters and they I'm assuming they're more of a nocturnal shrimp because of the fact of those antennae being so pronounced eyes being relatively small solid black unlike some shrimp with pupils and all sorts of uh, like more musculature to move the eyes around but I'm just kind of soaking them in, and I haven't gotten all the, the the super nerdy details on these shrimp and what they do, where they're from, uh, specifically like terrain-wise and everything, uh, and evolutionarily and who discovered them, but I just want to say my first impression as a pet is that I really like these guys. They are real active and uh, they're fun they sort through uh, all sorts of stuff they swim around not afraid of fish I put a couple up in a fish tank just to watch them and see what happened this tank doesn't have fish and so they've definitely just kind of done their own their own thing and taken over um, but they've got a digestive tract well no so I, maybe I spoke too soon because look at this guy his eyes are looking at me. You can see those pupils. And they're like gonzo eyeballs. But most of them have black uh, eyeballs. It's kind of like, here, if we look at these, uh, or this guy has solid black, smaller eyeballs. But it's kind of like if you look at um, Neocaridina or uh, Bobalti shrimp, it kind of... it. It just depends on the individual, what their eyes end up doing. But these guys really like swimming. Um, as you can see, the, the Neocaridina are not afraid. The Blue Dreams, Cherry Shrimp are not afraid of them. And some of them have really cool patterns, like I said. Uh, the one stripe that's in them that changes color easily because of what they eat is their digestive tract. So that is one of the stripes in them. But then they have um, the ability to change kind of their general flesh tone from clear to kind of a, I don't know, a green color to a tannish color and then over to a yellow and green color again. So they have kind of this or totally clear when they're just chill like that one was right there. So they're kind of interesting in that regard and you can definitely make out more organs and... Um, anatomy in these shrimp than you can in some others like you can really see when they're saddled or you know the structure of their uh, ribbing where they would keep eggs and then the females they have uh, the ability to hold eggs 
uh, in large numbers. They're small eggs, and they generally need salt water for the eggs to survive. However, it's been reported that in hard water, uh, TDS over 300, that people have been getting like a 1% of the time, 2% of the time uh, kind of thing, um, ability to actually raise these shrimp in captivity. Or you can just give them some brackish water and then they uh, are really prolific from everything I've read. They're relatively new to the hobby, um, that's, that's for sure, but they definitely have earned their place, uh, in, in eating algae already, that's their name, uh, precedes them. So, I think, and I'm not sure, but I think that the, the females have the red coloration and everything, and then I think that the males are probably the plainer, smaller ones. If I were guessing from most shrimp patterns uh, in behavior and coloration evolution. But I don't know that for sure. The sexual dimorphism could be different. But this looks like to me a female with the flatter heads and the... See this one, she has eyeballs that are black. And then she's got like a brown or slate colored... Uh, iris around the eyeball around the pupil whereas like this guy has black with a white ring around it solid black with a white ring around it so I don't know uh, where that comes from if that's in the same genes as their uh, look at this he can look right backwards at me that's so crazy uh, if it's in the same genes as some of the coloration or whatnot but I would be willing to bet you a pretty penny that you can get these guys to... I mean, just look at the color variation right here. I think that we can get uh, the yellows and like n natural green tones out of them. And I also think the red, we're really going to be able to get that out of them. And these are not, by the way, the little Pinocchio or, or red shrimp, uh, the red nose shrimp or Rudolph shrimp or rummy nose shrimp. There's been a bunch of names for two different shrimp. Uh, Pinocchios are, have like an arched back and a long nose. Uh, these are not those. And these are not the red nosed either. That's just this redness comes and goes and it seems to be uh, just a trait going uh, on some of these guys some of the time or gals. And they don't mind flow. They seem to hang out right by the air stone and stuff. And um, overall, I would say go to aquaticarts.com and pick yourself up some of these before they're sold out. They're at a really good price. They're easy to take care of so far. And uh, I'll let you know later on the longevity and all that. But they seem like a really fun... Uh, shrimp, especially for like a nano tank on a desk or something, they may be a little bit too uh, plain for some people's taste. They may not have quite enough uh, oomph of color like some of the other neo caradinas and, and uh, caradinas out there. But supposedly these are much easier to care for, and. Uh, that it means a lot to me. Look at look at those antennas. Look at how long they are. They're longer than the entire shrimp is. So, really cool. Uh, kind of a unique shrimp. And uh, I'll let you know on all the water stats. We'll do we'll do a um, a species profile type video on them as well. But I just wanted to do a real quick update on what a great uh, shrimp this was sent out by Aquatic Arts. If you want to pick your own up, uh, the secret code to to get 15% off of the shrimp is Secret History 15. All in caps, no spaces. Secret History 15. And uh, if you've already used that code, 
And this is an all new code. It used to be secret shrimp 15. So go ahead and use this one. If you've already used this one and want to do more purchasing, use secret history 10 one zero that no spaces all caps infos below and this will allow you to check out some of their their dozens of shrimp and crayfish and uh just awesome stuff they're carrying they're really going out of their way to carry some cool stuff and uh you're probably not well i don't know what you're into but uh you're not here to learn about angelfish or watch angelfish but they have some really great deals on corridor and angelfish uh that are bred locally as are there uh the babalti shrimp which i'll show you real quick up here they are bred in a tank in-house and i've got them in with my yellow neocaridina slash uh zang Genzensis uh, sh shrimp, but uh, they lay low. They're kind of hard to see, but they're a green color or a clear color. And then they have a sun-kissed look to them. So they, the color changing is what's a big deal on them. And then yet again, they kind of have these gonzo eyeballs <laughs> that some of the other shrimp don't have. That seems to be kind of maybe a caradina trait. Uh, or or uh, maybe just neocaridina don't have that trait. Because you can see here these guys. I've got smudged glass over here. But these guys just have little dots on their eyes. And... That's all that that's all the eye structure they have. So, uh but they're uh they get to get they get along well. They don't interbreed as far as I've ever seen. And as far as uh the owner of Aquatic Arts has ever seen, uh David, he's had this colony. He's had several colonies of uh Babalti shrimp. Uh totally uh, self-sufficient in their in their tank uh, in-house so for years so I just thought I'd show you that show you how some of the shrimp are doing and uh, I guess the last thing we'll pop down and look at is here are some Malua or para paradensis or caridina par paradensis uh, den Tesis, I want to say. I'm sorry, guys. I, 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 it's a long name. Let's just call them Malawa shrimp. And some Bloody Marys. So, you can see they kind of don't get along in... I mean, they're going to fight to the death or anything, but they're a little different. So, this is definitely a taste of a little bit of a lot of the shrimp I have. Um, you can also see that uh, there's more of the red shrimp back there. Uh, these are the super super reds by Lucas Bretts here and uh, They've done really well in here also And they're doing just fine with the Malawa Caradina shrimp so uh, Yeah, I just thought I'd show everybody how the different shrimp are doing you can actually see when they're eating algae and stuff that they start to uh, have different colors in them because their digestive tract is a different color. But here you can also see the big difference between Malawa shrimp or Malawa shrimp, which is they have this really cool speckled look to them, uh, usually. And then their shell turns colors. This one's exhibiting a bit of blue, which is really unusual. Uh, and usually it's like a rusty color to a gray color to tan but this one's like an olive and blue right now so pretty cool shrimp uh all around and i just thought i'd share all those with you guys uh oh and then this is an original cherry shrimp he just he was a straggler i can keep track of him because you see that he's kind of translucent the red on him is definitely not the same as the red that you see over on these shrimp back in here. Well, that's not very clear for you guys to see, but just take my word, 
this type of red that's totally non-translucent versus this type of red which looks like stained glass or something those are uh, very different shrimp lines so you guys are seeing it all tonight and uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening uh, let's see if we can find any of the last of the oh by the way look at that Val it looks great that corkscrew Val uh, let's see if we can find any of the last of Neo Caridina Zangensis and Palmata mix they're a yellowish shrimp and there they are that's where we get our uh, the, the racing line down the back kind of thing for shrimp so uh, and then the clear body it's for snowball and uh, kind of sparkly or pearl shrimp sometimes or velvet they have different names none of its uh, coherent across different regions and everything so take it all with a grain of salt but these are Palmata and uh, Zhang Genensis I want to say is how you pronounce it and uh, they are a Neocaridina variety that has been crossed uh, with Palmata in order to produce uh, these see-through yellow ones but they come in all different colors and they kind of just look like neo caridina davidi so a lot of lines have had interbreeding involved and it's hard to track uh what's what but it's nice when i have someone who gives me a true sample that that, that was originally from the wild that they've been working with that i can uh watch and observe and I have to say, it's pretty hard to know the difference, and nearly impossible, if not impossible, once they're split up and mixed around and everything. So, I hope you guys are doing well. If you like this kind of video and new shrimp, stuff like that, please like, please subscribe, and... Uh, yeah, support the channel. Uh, purchase something from AquaticArts.com or LRB Aquatics. Han Aquatics, he has more Caridina and uh, Taiwan Bees and stuff like that. Galaxy and Pinto Shrimp. And uh, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And enjoy your own critters. Whether they are many or just... Uh, you know, a lone fish in a bowl or something. Uh, it's all gravy. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.